when we talk about the solar industry we talk about new companies we talk about new pavilions we talk about the industry all together but what about a company which has sustained for around more than 3 decades when we talk about this 3 decades there's a company named and of course everybody in the industry knows it as rec today we have with us mr rohit kumar who is who is the head of indian subcontinent and let us know from him what he has got this time at rei so mr rohit kumar you know i'll say it is uh, still early to comment about rei uh, but in general what we expect uh, is that like you know, the way indian market is moving right now it's booming the indian government has taken uh, fantastic measures in removing bottlenecks bringing out a huge pipeline and if you look at the rei today the world is here right now and that is what the government has achieved and uh, i am very sure the companies who are going to participate here they will feel that the money spent here has been worth it and they are going to make connections uh, you know network with good customers very uh, high potential customers and i am very sure it's the way ahead is very nice you know going to be very positive for the solar market in india for the next 3 to 5 years at least it's going to be the best times when we talk about rec rec is one of the oldest companies to my conscious so what are the major changes which you have seen in india you have might have seen a major, major uh, thrust of solar and everything so what are the major changes you have think see in short i have been in solar industry for over 7 years now and i've been with rec for almost 5 years so if i look at the early days uh, uh, india went through a large learning curve uh, be it from project development to epc uh, you know companies people committed a lot of mistakes we had huge challenges on land acquisition uh, you know power infrastructure financing uh, you know at times ppas uh, policy execution delays but uh, you know that was the early days and uh, now we see over a period of time you know early entrants have had an advantage some of them have exited the market but the the good set of com- uh, you know project developers and epc companies who have established you know an excellent track record and uh, i see like uh, uh, today the market is uh, you know i would not like to quote any number but the indian government has uh, you know committed a 100 gigawatt number even if you don't achieve that even if you are able to do uh, you know even uh, uh, over 50% i'll say is a fantastic number and that will uh, you know boost this industry really well and uh, currently uh, you know over the past 3 4 years government has worked very hard in things like a single window approval you know developing solar parks giving power infrastructure so the market is uh, much more developed now and it's a lot more easier for developers to execute really large projects you know that you know the, typically the ticket size now we talk about is 50 megawatt and uh, uh, you know 7 years back we used to celebrate a 100 kilowatt order with a party and today a 50 megawatt order is okay so that's the way the market has progressed in the last okay uh, can we know about your recent projects though you have made some big uh, projects around so See, we are not a large project player. We are into the medium-sized utility and uh, captive rooftop projects. So, uh, like our biggest customer in Ma- India is Inadu, which is a newspaper publication in Andhra, now Telangana. So, we have supplied 20 megawatt to them in the last three years. And some of the other good customers are like RK Marbles. Uh, we have uh, Bilwada Groups, one of their family businesses. Then we have Kanoria Chemicals. So, typically, they are like projects are like five, ten megawatt. kinds and uh, you know we have done a uh, 7 megawatt for clover group rooftops so quite a few good customers like turbo energy is a tvs group company they have been with us for the last 3 4 years so uh, you know these are the kind of customers we have so we have so when we talk about the challenges everybody uh, today in the solar industry i don't think so they talk about much of the challenge part though they have, because of the government there is a pragmatic vision everybody is having through so do you think there is some challenge still left for the solar in- industry that the government should look into so actually the government is looking into something i saw recent uh, see that the major challenges today i'll say i'll start with that first is uh, quality control you know so india is still you know a price sensitive market one of the price sensitive markets i'll not say it's the only price sensitive market so uh, and with the 
you know tariffs driving south southwards in the low 40s now 4 rupees so there's always pressure on the developer which gets transferred majorly onto the manufacturer because more than 50 60% of the you know project cost is from the modules so there's always pressure to reduce cost so at times there is a this leaves a opportunity for the manufacturer to compromise on the quality cut corners and you know slipping in a lower quality product so this is something i was very happy to note a draft a publication on mnre's website end of august wherein they are trying to control the quality of uh, solar modules coming into india so this is still in draft stage but uh, if i you know i have read it in brief i think they are doing a very good job there so they are worried about india becoming a dumping ground and uh, you know and the government is trying to work on that so i think indian government overall has got things under control they are working in the right direction the industry is going in a fantastic uh, pace and we will be i think probably one of the top 3 markets in the world for solar in the next 3 years so uh, coming to the market strategy of your company so primarily what you are focusing on see uh, uh, you know, i split indian market into four parts uh, first is the large scale utility projects and uh, second is the medium size and smaller utility like 1 to 10 megawatt then the third is the rooftop commercial industrial rooftops and the last is the domestic uh, residential market so uh, if you look at the utility scale large projects we are really not into that right now but uh, our bread and butter or our uh, you know key segments for the uh, medium size utility and the captive rooftops so this is where we have always focused on going ahead uh, we have appointed a distributor recently which is reddington india they have a pan india presence excellent warehouses uh, and a very good team and uh, you know uh, you can say a solar specific uh, you know business approach so through this segment i through this uh, distribution network I, we target the domestic market which is expected to grow next year among the large scale utility developers we have seen select few worried about the qualities and they have come to us and they have told us we are ready to pay the premium which rec deserves let's sit and discuss and negotiate and see where it heads to so uh, what i see is uh, there is a quality uh, stress on quality coming in i have seen the rfps of the larger developers in the recent past extremely quality sensitive and uh, you know they know what they are doing now so my feeling is next year we'll enter into this segment also we'll get into the large scale utility segment next year so by the end of year next year we'll be there in all segments and we'll have a presence uh, you know throughout uh, i just want to put my my own idea into it when we talk about the solar in part i've seen 100 gigawatts we are uh, absolutely going with the government and everything is on the pragmatic vision as said prior also but uh, why we are not focusing or are we focusing correctly on the rooftop segment in this industry which is somewhat around a merely a megawatt today 2009 uh, you know the government came out with a 30% capital subsidy for rooftop projects even with 30% capital subsidy it was a big challenge to execute projects get the financial viability there were a lot of structuring which we had to do convince customers you know so it was really difficult to sell you know i was in epc then specifically for rooftops 2009 and 10 and 11 3 years in 16 months i did 16 projects okay this says i pick up orders maybe five orders a month sorry five orders a week this segment of the country rooftop so i'll say the rooftop market has come a very long way and the kick start which was given by the government was done uh, very well if you look at the rooftop segment the energy cost of uh, you know these consumers is fairly high they are already 10 rupees to 12 rupees you know on the lower side it will be 8 9 rupees and with the falling prices in solar the uh, and accelerated depreciation available the payback time for these kind of projects is less than 4 years now maybe max 5 years right so it makes perfect sense without government support for you know customers to you know to implement solar on rooftops so i'll say now it's more than the government 
it's become uh, you know from giving it a good push the government has done their job now we are on our own and we can develop this market on our own so to wrap, uh, wrap it up uh, the last question i will ask as rec today in 100 gigawatts project uh, the ambition of uh, government of india what large chunk is rec taking part to see uh, currently our market share in india will be 1 to 2% somewhere in that we definitely like to grow that and uh, i really can't give you any number but uh, you know i think each year we are seeing our uh, market share incre- increasing steadily it will still remain in a single digit but uh, what i look at uh, you know i would look at it more from a rec internal perspective my target will be maybe 3 years 4 years down the line i'd like to contribute at least 10% of rec revenues from india so which is currently less than 5% now so i'd like to take it up uh, you know uh, higher and that will definitely happen because uh, you know customers demand for quality is increasing so uh, we'll definitely be there we'll have a good percentage of uh, that 100 gigawatt so thank you mr rohit kumar wish you all the best for the future thank you, thank you.